Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial where I'll be going through just the one question which I personally like to call the aeroplane question. Now the general concept of this question can be applied to various different scenarios and situations not just aeroplanes. However I think that there are some important points to highlight in this type of question so let's have a look at the question. An aeroplane can fly with a maximum load of 2,000 kilograms, measured to two significant figures. Each luggage bag weighs 30 kilograms, measured to one significant figure. What's the greatest number of luggage bags the aeroplane can safely lift? So if you'd like to pause the video and have a go at this one, when you come back, I'll show you the work solutions. Welcome back and feel free to fast forward the video to check your solutions against mine. So in this question, one of the first things to notice is that these values, the maximum load of the plane and the weight of each bag have been rounded, okay? Which means that there are a range of possible values which we can consider by finding the lower and upper bound of each of these values okay so if we let l be equal to the maximum load carried by the plane then as it's been rounded to two significant figures we can find that the lower bound is equal to 1950 kilograms and the upper bound is equal to 2050 kilograms if we let b be equal to the weight of the luggage bag then we can find that the lower bound is equal to 25 kilograms and the upper bound is equal to 35 kilograms. Now, this question is immediately different from the previous questions as notice that the degree of accuracy is different, okay? So it's not always the case that the quantities you'll be given or the values you'll be given will be rounded to the same degree of accuracy. So you have to be careful. Now, if we made an assumption that the maximum load was actually equal to 2000 and the weight of each bag was equal to 30 and you were asked what's the greatest number of bags that can go on the plane well you'd simply just do 2000 which is the maximum load carried by the plane divided by 30 which is the weight of each bag and that would give you 66.6 .6 recurring but as you're trying to find the greatest number that can go on the plane you would simply round it down as the plane wouldn't be able to take any more than this value so you wouldn't round it up you would round it down to 66. however there are two really important factors that need to be considered here one was already discussed that these are estimated values all right so they're not necessarily equal to 2000 and we can look at the range of possible values that they could have taken by looking at each of their respective error intervals. The other important factor is this key word, safely. Now this word safely really changes the game in this question. Let's have a look at the range of possible values that each of these variables, the maximum load and the weight of each bag could take. So here they are. Let's have a look at the maximum load. Now, it is indeed possible that the maximum load could be on the higher end. It could be a value which is really, really close to 2050, in which case would be great because it means that we could take more bags on the plane. However, as we want to ensure we are flying safely, we certainly don't want to be overestimating. In fact, we want to choose the lowest possible value, which is 1,950. With the bags, it's possible that they could weigh 25 kilograms. In again, which case would mean that we could probably take more bags on the plane. However, as we are acting in the air of caution, we want to be careful. We want to assume that it's actually on the higher end of weight. So we choose 35. So, the greatest number of bags that can safely go on the plane is equal to 1950 divided by 
35, which is equal to 55.71 and so on. You can't leave it as a decimal number as we're looking for the greatest number of bags. And as we are trying to ensure that we are flying safely, we need to round this value down to the nearest whole number and certainly not up, okay? So the answer is equal to 55. All right, so it's quite interesting to see how the wording can change the dynamics of these types of questions involving bounds. It's very easy to see this word greatest and assume that you're looking for the greatest value and do the highest number divided by the lowest number. But that's not the case in this question because of the word safely. So do pay attention to the wording and I hope you found it useful. All right, so keep up the good work and I will see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.